Today, any fish are a bonus. The biggest prize on offer is the bachelor's rose, keeping the girl who receives it safe for another week at least. Through the middle. Oh, I think it's under my nails and everything. I've got something. Come on, Wales. Come on. <laughs> Come on. It's a boy. Come oh. on. What have you got? Ah, oh, there we are. <laughs> Nothing. Don't hold that. Oh. <laughs> You're crying wolf. <laughs> With not a bite in sight, Gavin switches his attention to the main agenda, getting to know each girl better, starting with Angharad. For me, my, my concern with you, because I, I feel we get on and this yeah. easy conversation, and yeah. you know, I like you a lot. At the moment, for me, I, I see it as a friendship kind of thing. Yeah. I don't see anything from you that wants to take it to that other side of it. And you're just sort of I riding just... along it and just. If it ends tomorrow, it ends tomorrow. I'm just having a good That's time. That's definitely and... not what I think no. or feel. And it's not just friendship. Yeah. I don't see yeah. you just as a friend. I know we haven't had time to yeah. connect or anything, so maybe that's why you might yeah. question that. But if we do get more time, I think you might think differently. Hopefully. Yeah, cheers. Oops, I'm <laughs> It's all good and she's an attractive girl, but I... I'm not sure what it is, but we're just going down the route of our friendship. So you're holding that line? Yeah. With us both being from Wales and stuff, we can talk and we can chat quite easily compared to probably what he does with some other girls. Though, I don't know if it's working in my favour or against me now that, that we do share like similar values. I really don't know. If I catch a fish, first girls, you'll have to remove a piece of clothing. <laughs> <laughs> Strip fishing. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Yesterday, Gavin's friends gave Georgie a particularly tough grilling and drew their own conclusions as to why she's here. Now, a rather confused bachelor wants to get Georgie's side of the story. So, Georgie, I haven't really seen you since I gave you that first rose back. I know, that how boat. rude. I know. That's terrible. Obviously, I gave you the, that rose for, you know, genuine reasons. I felt I was attracted to you and I liked everything you were about. But, I'm, I know, and I, I don't really know what went on and how my friends questioned all the girls, but uh, one of their concerns I mean, was like they didn't think you were in it for the right reasons. And I couldn't believe that. What do you mean? I don't know. They, they just went on. Um, they just said they doubted you. Out of all the girls, they, they, you were the I ones know. they doubted. I know. No. I know. I was surprised at that. And I was like, oh, never. I can't, that was really like disheartened me that your friends thought that about me. <laughs> It really upset me that he would, that his friends would get that impression from me straight away because that's like there's people in here that oh well, these nine girls there's people here that just aren't here for genuine reasons and they're just not here for him they're here for the fame they've even said it to us they've said like oh I can't wait to see my first cover on OK and oh, I'm like that's not my world that's not what I'm into at all. There's still one girl yet to have a chat with the bachelor. Up until now. Morgan's time alone with Gavin has amounted to one two-minute speed date. So can she make the most of her big chance? So, Morgan, as you know, I do find you very attractive. I didn't know that. I do. And even from the conversations I've had with you, I still don't get anything back from you. And maybe that's the way you are, that you maybe play hard to get, or I don't know, it's, I don't no, know. No, it's, it's not a game whatsoever. I, I told you before, I'm really shy. Or that you're not just interested. I don't know, it doesn't. I hear rumours that some girls are not here for the right reasons, and maybe those girls I'm attracted to, and I could be played for a fool. But if that happens, that happens. But no, that's what I said to your friend last night. I was like, there are, there's definitely people like that. You know, if everyone's coming to for genuine reasons, like, like I have, I really want to leave ship, and I'm well, trying my yeah. best to open my heart. I, I'm risking being here, you know. I've not really had opportunity to tell you, and I feel like. No, I know. I, I do, like, I do. I feel attracted to you and I feel there's, there's definitely chemistry there. Coming into this date and obviously knowing the three that was on the date, I'll be honest with you, I was like, oh, I wouldn't mind kissing Morgan, to be honest, so I would like to. That confirmed a lot of things. What? 
Good things. Good things. It's been a good day. There's such a connection with Morgan. We had a nice kiss and there's a definite physical connection. But we obviously need more than that for a relationship. I'm a little bit concerned because they keep referring back to that. Some of the girls know him for the right reasons. And, you know, I, I have pretty strong feelings for quite a lot of these girls that are left in, and that worries me. While Gavin ponders the bigger picture, he has a more pressing decision facing him. Which girl should receive today's rose? Hi, girls. Hi. Uh, oh, first of all, I just want to thank you all for an incredible day. I definitely have feelings for three of you, you know, uh, all different levels. But anyway, on today's day out, one of you shared a moment with me, and it was, it was nice, it was really good, and that's reassuring for me, and it's a good feeling, and on that note, you know, I'd like to give this rose to Morgan. I'm going to accept this rose, please. So a happy ending for Morgan.